Good morning, boys and girls. I think I got a little bit of fog on there. Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Um, this is super weird. I've lived here eight years. I've never seen the fog this bad. Normally fog's a good thing because that means it's going to be calm out. But um, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that. Go ahead and smash the like button. That helps me a ton and it's free. Um, I'm going to do some commercial deep dropping today. A lot of you guys have been asking for that. The visibility on the reef has been absolutely terrible for diving. Um, so I canceled my trip today. So I'm going to head out and do some commercial deep dropping. A lot of you guys have had a lot of questions about this. It gets me excited how much you guys like deep dropping because I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm going to try and cover... Mainly today, I'm gonna to focus on you know finding new spots, what to look for. I'm gonna run pretty far and kind of get out of the areas I normally fish, so I'm kind of fishing blind. Um, with that being said, the winter months, in my findings, I'm not an expert. Uh, I've only been doing this for a few short years, the, the deep drop thing. Um, but in my findings, the winter time's a little bit slower, um, but we're still gonna give it a try and see what we can get into. Recreationally, most of this stuff is closed. So if you're in my area or similar regulations, don't go deep dropping. Uh, pretty much everything's closed. I think except for golden tile, which if you're not really sure what you're doing, you're probably gonna end up killing a bunch of other fish you're not supposed to. Anyways, I'm rambling. We're gonna get to it. I gotta grab some fuel and then we're headed out. I've got a little over an hour run. So like I said, find a new territory and uh, hopefully we've been some rods. All right, so I'm out here, um, and on the way out, I got kind of got to thinking about what I said this morning about don't go deep dropping if it's in the winter time, uh, if you're recreational. I, I wasn't sounding like I'm telling you what to do. Um, the main thing is, like I said, recreationally, a lot of the majority of the stuff is closed. So if you're new to deep dropping and you aren't really familiar with what spots are going to hold what, uh, there's a good chance you're going to spend the day catching fish that are out of season and you're going to be killing fish unnecessarily so that was my only thought i wasn't sitting here saying hey don't go deep dropping um i just was trying to hopefully save a few un unnecessarily unnecessary kills there but um anyways i'm out here i'm about five miles from my nearest spot i've honestly been driving around i was i got here about 30 minutes ago and i've kind of been driving around um and i just ran over whatever the heck that is I can't tell. It looks solid like it's rock, but it almost looks like it has a little bait on it, but um, it's hard to tell. The good thing about my machine is I can read uh, while I'm running. So I've got the rod ready to go and uh, we're going to do our first drop and see if there's anything down there. This looks incredible. I don't know of another mark that I've had like this, but it looks pretty cool. So we're going to check it out. Come on. So my current is running east. My GPS is north up. Um, so that that mark I marked was right around here somewhere. So I set up just east of it I'm trying to come across it and you can see I'm starting to hit it right now um, No bites yet, but that's how I set up I set up about 500 feet in front of it depending on how much current there is just to make sure I hit it and I'm hitting it perfect No bites yet Maybe they're not awake yet. I don't know So, to be completely honest, how I didn't get a bite on that, I have no idea. Maybe it's a little too early, like I said. Winter time tends to be a little slower, and um, early in the morning tends to be kind of slow. Maybe I'll come back here later, I don't know. Very strange, we'll keep moving. So I found another nice hump. Um, this one's pretty subtle, but I like how that looks. It's not much there. You can see it's just kind of hard bottom red and there's a little thin layer of green on top of it. Um, I don't know what exactly that means, but typically I see fish on that kind of stuff. So the baits are going down. The elusive double rosy. <laughs> Even eight rosy. Come on, man. So it is 11:30. Um, I think I've hit four new spots that I've never fished before. They all look good. They hold rosies. They're just not the fish that I really want. Um, so this is a part of the day where, as a fisherman, I start to overthink absolutely everything. Um, 
Am I too deep? Is it too early in the season? Am I using the right bait? Is the water too dirty that the light's not getting down? Is there just not fish on the spots? Um, I start to kind of drive myself crazy. Uh, I think most of us tend to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit some spots that I do have fish previously that I know normally produce fish. Um, that way I can make the call whether I'm just fishing crappy spots or if something's actually wrong. So I'll get there, I'll show you what those look like if any of them produce fish. Uh, hopefully we can learn something and hopefully at least put enough in the boat to pay for expenses here. Um, not looking good right now, but still early in the day. Let's rock and roll. So I was actually heading to one of my old spots to fish it and I ran over something that looked okay. It's pretty subtle bottom, nothing crazy. Just kind of what we've been fishing all morning. Um, I dropped this one down. This one had some little bites. I started to bring it up because I wanted to check it and then I, so I dropped this second one down and it got absolutely destroyed. Um, doesn't look like a monster. Oh God. Whoops. Doesn't, um, doesn't look like an absolute record breaker, but it's bending the rod more than I've seen all day. So that's a good thing. I see some gold color. Woo, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. There we are. About dang time. It's afternoon. First reasonable fish in the boat, but like I said, this is a new spot. I'm gonna reset on that drift and um, hopefully we can find some more gold. Oh. Apparently there was only one. So that last drift, I got completely picked apart. Both rods, no bait left on them. Uh, I'm guessing by rosies. So I actually took one of the smaller rosies and I cut it in half and I'm gonna drop that down and see. If there's that much life, there's that many rosies, there's a good chance that it's holding something else. So give it one more try. Big ones, not what I'm looking for, but what can you do? That is a monster rosy though, as far as rosies go. That's a big one. Probably the best fried fish on the planet, I think I already said that, but I'll take those all day. Just not gonna pay the bills. So that's actually not something you see every day. This is the second one I've ever caught. If I remember correctly, I think they are called a beard fish. Got the little beard right there, but fortunately he came up, but I'm gonna use him as bait. That looks like a great grouper bait. Something's going on. Based on how today's going, I'm gonna guess that it's four rosies. I got color. Only took me all dang day. That's the one I've been looking for. A nice one. Not an absolute slob, but just trying to pay for 
pay for expenses at this point. Beautiful fish. So I have look. I have been looking for that type of life all day. Um, it's just been slow, honestly. It's four o'clock, four thirty in the afternoon. I finally found it. That's that's normally what I catch all my fish on right there. Is when it has fuzz like that. Oh well, we're gonna give it another go. Eat it. That looks like the best bite I've had all day. I got color. No. Big snowy. Look at that. I was wrong. Love it when I'm wrong. Ooh, spun that thing all up. Only took me all day, but I'm finally catching a couple fish. <laughs> One more like this, we might actually cover expenses. Not too bad. Of course, I go to my golden tile spot and catch snowies. Well, that is a wrap, boys and girls. Uh, two nice snowies, a nice golden bunch of rosies. There's a blue line in there somewhere. Um, not really the day I had in mind, but sometimes that's how it goes. And like I said earlier in the video, for some reason earlier in the season, um, this tends to be a little slower for me out here. I, I tend to do really well a little farther into the season, but no complaints. I had a great day. I got to come out here and have some fun and bend some rods. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking about finding new spots, and I was trying to describe how I, you know, what I look for today. Uh, unfortunately, the bite just wasn't really on. Um, there's no real alternative to you know just putting your time in. There's no real secret. Uh, you come out here, put your time in, and you find spots you like, and uh, kind of work around those areas, and you just get better and better the more the more time you put in. So, hopefully, you guys learned a little bit. I won't be doing a profit breakdown on this episode because, quite honestly, there's no profit. Um, just eyeballing it, I'm probably in the hole 50, 60 bucks, but no big deal. I'd much rather be out here uh, losing money than anywhere else in the world making it. So, um, got to spend a day on the water. It's absolutely gorgeous. No complaints. But as always, if you guys like the videos, make sure you hit the like button. That helps a ton. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Um, keep the ideas coming at me. I'm doing my best to get them out. And I'm doing my best to make these videos more frequent. And uh, the more you guys engage, the more I can do that. So as always, thanks so much. Appreciate your time. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.